right, so uh, luckily enough, I've got a mate who works for Jota Racing, just here, I think I was covering it up then. And he's invited me down to come have a look at the workshop, come have a look at the insane race cars they've got here. Have a go on a sim, even have a go at probably uh, trying to do some pit stop practice, which I'm really, really nervous about because I'm going to be so bad. All right, let's go, let's go and see what it's all about then. That's not meant to be there. <laughs> So I've got two of the, uh, the actual cars they've got here. This one's being built, ready for some uh, testing. Obviously been stripped right down, that's not how they race it. But this one here is cool. This is gonna be, um, this is gonna be built up to a proper road going Le Mans car, like ready to go basically, but it's gonna go in someone's lounge and be kept there. There's someone's buying this car, gonna have an engine, everything. And it's just gonna be kept there, which is a bit sad. Nothing sadder than locking a beast in a cage. And I really want to punch him in the face. Okay. So we've now just driven down to their, one of their other units um, where we've got a pit stop simulator so they can practice pit stops all the time. Sim rig, uh, an actual gym, which is uh, maybe where I'm a bit more at home. Maybe I can even have a go. Let's go inside and check all that stuff out. in the middle foot there up here and just use the weight of the wheel to swing on yeah and all we've got to do is that it's really easy all right just get that but you say it, right yeah <laughs> but i just come in like that the hardest bit is when you get it over the axle got pegs that have got to line up so you almost like put it on and then it's a twist slot yeah just a slot There's literally just it, like, yeah. Yeah, just smash it on there. And that's where you want to put the pegs in. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, so it's literally so it goes on flat? Yeah, yeah, so you, as you go around your hands, it'll twist and you can dip down onto it. Then. So. I used to have got stuff in my pocket, so oh, that, was, that was holding me back. So pit stop practice is done. Don't think I'm getting a job there anytime soon. Uh, Todd has just told me they're getting their uh, professional sim set up for me. Last time I was on a sim, went pretty well. I uh, quite enjoyed it, but that was uh, at the F1 arcade in uh, St. Paul's. So having to go on a professional sim where it acts like a, an actual car, not sure how I'm gonna get on. Help. Here I am then, uh, still a little bit tired from training because, oh, yeah, a little bit difficult to get into this car. I found on my first lap of the Belgian Spa Grand Prix track. I was actually here the other week to watch the F1, so I should be a professional now. As you can see, this thing is massive. Really threw me off with how big the immersive screen was. 
Oh god, my head looks tiny in that. As usual, I started to get a little bit cocky and started driving a little bit too fast and thinking I could get away with it. Straight into the gravel and into the wall. So glad this isn't real because I really don't want to pay for that. But anyway, it's my first ever go, so be kind to me in the comments. What a cool experience. Right, I'm back home now. Definitely needed a rest off that day. Um, pit stop practice, not used to that at all. Just a massive thank you to Todd and uh, all the other boys at Jota. Had such an amazing day, really, really enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully we can get you guys on the push track so I can make you boys look silly like you did to me. Yeah, massive thank you and stay tuned for the next one.